On January 5, 1931, the Yishuv held its third election for the Assembly of Representatives. The years since the 1925 elections had been chaotic, to say the least. Although the Zionist movement had originally begun as a way to reconnect with the land through agriculture, a new generation of middle-class professionals were causing the country to urbanize rapidly. By 1930, the majority of Jews in Palestine lived in just three cities. Jerusalem, Haifa, and Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv had originally been founded as a suburb of Jaffa, but by this time had overtaken Jaffa in population and become the new commercial center. This growth of the middle class increased support for the conservative revisionists led by Jabotinsky. To add to the political intrigue, an increasing number of Jewish immigrants came not from Europe, but from other Middle Eastern countries, especially Yemen, and were generally more supportive of the conservative capitalists. So to consolidate power, Ahdut HaAvodah and Hapoel HaTzair merged into the Land of Israel Workers' Party, or Mapai for short. This angered the hardline Marxists within HaPoel HaTzair, who split into Poel Etzion and HaShomer HaTzair. To simplify the elections, the size of the assembly was again reduced, from 221 to just 71 seats. The same number as in the Great Sanhedrin, the legislature of ancient Judea. And here are the results. Mapai won, with 27 seats. But Hatzor and the Sephardic revisionists came in second with 15 seats, followed by the Sephardic bloc with 6, and Hapoel Hamizrahi and the general Zionists with 5 each. The new Marxist parties Poel Etzion and Hashomer Hatzair only got one seat each, but that wouldn't be the case for long. Mapai was charged with forming the new Jewish National Council, with Pinchas Rutenberg as president. Ben-Gurion actually offered Hatzor a place in the government, but Jabotinsky refused on the grounds that Mapai was too supportive of the British occupation. <laughs> 